Excel's newest function XLOOKUP will replace your messy index and match formulas. Let's take a look. So here we have some employee data and we would like to find the date joined for Andrea Kimpton. We can use XLOOKUP like this. XLOOKUP, the value that you want to look up, you can point to a cell. Alternatively, you can type the value here as well. So we have the value in J7. And then where do you want to find this value? So this value will be in the name column. So we select that. And then what is it that you want to return? You want to return the date joined. So we will pick that value and close the bracket and enter and you will get the answer. Of course, we would like to see the answer as 18 May 2018, but Excel dates are technically numbers. So that's why Excel will show this as a number. All you have to do is select the cell and apply date formatting on it and you will get the correct result right so far it is not really replacing your index match formulas but now let me show you the alternative where originally you would be writing an index match formula and now you can simply use XLOOKUP so here I have an employee start date and I want to find out when who is the person who joined on that date if you look at this the normal way one would write a formula here is we will say index of names match this name in the date joined column with an exact match zero and we will get dotty strutley as the name right so 10 jan 2018 Dotty Strutley. You can see this answer here as well. Now let me show you the easiest formula here. Using XLOOKUP you can completely replace all your index match formulas. So we will simply say XLOOKUP this date in the date joined column and then return the name column. So what XLOOKUP does is it will take the date in J10, it will look for the date joined column for that date and once it finds a match it will come back with the corresponding name and we will get that this formula is shorter to write you do not have to specify exact match as a criteria or false if you are using VLOOKUP instead you can just leave it as it is and it will always find the exact match what if there is no match for the date let's just copy this and paste it here and this time I'm going to change this to 2019. Now XLOOKUP will return NA if the answer is not found. Same as your index match formulas. But XLOOKUP also has an optional fourth parameter wherein you can specify what you want to do if the value is not there. So you can say no such person and that would be the answer. Again, it makes the whole process of writing your index match formulas or if error around them, all of them will become unnecessary because you can get what you want with the simple answer. Let's take a look at one final example. I want to find out who has the salary of $88,050. XLOOKUP, salary value in the salary column and name of the person. I will get Chess Bonnell as the answer and that is the person who has $88,050. Now that you have understood XLOOKUP and understood how it can replace index match, let me share with you one advanced example of XLOOKUP as well. XLOOKUP can return an entire set of values instead of a single value. So for example, I want to know what is the full detail of Chess Bonnell, what kind of department he is working in or what is their gender, when did they join, all of that. So here I'm just going to say 88050 as my salary and then now I want to get all details. So we will say X look up this value in the salary column and then where return array instead of selecting just the name. I'm going to select all of these. Notice what I'm doing. I'm selecting name, gender, department, and date joined. And 
if not found i will say no such person now what it does is it will find this salary and then it will give me all of these details so chess bonnell mail website department that's the date they have joined july 22nd of 2018 i can change this i can put another salary 65 920 and then i can see the corresponding person's de details so this again also replaces multiple index match formulas with a single x lookup formula i hope you found all of this useful if you want a copy of this file download it from the video description thank you so much for watching if you are looking for new excel features i suggest checking out my video on dynamic array formulas and if you are looking for the example file use the file disc video description to download the sample file on xlookup